Let's uh, go through what OPEC nice actually decided to do. Give us a sense of what they are going to do and what they need to do. Well, OPEC had uh, two options. Uh, one was to uh, pause the production uh, for one, or one to three months, and the second was to continue the path of adding 400,000 barrels per day. They figured that the drop in the price of oil from 80 to uh, 60, 70 or 69 dollars was an oversold reaction. Uh, there was a news about uh, the virus, and that was enough to bring the price down by 10 dollars, much uh, faster than uh, SPR released by uh, President Biden could do. Uh, then uh, they they knew that if they pause it, the price then will jump maybe ten dollars a barrel. Uh, it goes back to where it was. So they decided that the market uh, downside risks are almost zero because the balances are so tight. They decided to go ahead and four hundred at the four hundred thousand barrels per day, and then wait for the next month to decide what to do. And what do you think they will do? Well, I think that uh, we have a very interesting situation because the markets, the inventories are very tight at the moment. But when we get to uh, first quarter, inventories will become long. Inventory building will take place because of the, uh, as we pass through the winter, the seasonal uh, where demand change is very dramatic. So they might pause in January or February for a month or two. But uh, I think what they did was the right thing to do. They read the market correctly. The uh, people were saying that if you add the production, then the prices will fall. But it, it didn't. Fall. It didn't fall. In fact, it went up. And in fact, I expect the prices to continue to go up because the balances are so so tight. Well, there is a uh, un a known unknown, as it were, or is it an, it's an unknown known actually? And that is, of course, this new variant that that could really upset the apple cart here. Should it be seen to be more virulent than it's currently being thought of? Yes, absolutely. And there are two factors with uh, uh, Omicron. One is uh, the real demand impact. The second is the fear. Uh, the fear was enough to bring the price down by $10 a barrel. Uh, then uh, now we have to find out if there is any impact on that. If the news comes out that this is not so bad, this is a storm in the teapot, then the prices will rise much faster. So. The market direction is really waiting for the virus and uh, not so much from OPEC today. How large, I know there are many moving parts to this question, how large do you think the surplus will be in the first quarter? Because I mean, not just too long ago, I think it was last week, we were talking about uh, strategic reserves also being released to the market and there was pushback on that because they were pointing to that same exact timeline that, you know, we're going to get in the surplus uh, before anyone knows it. Yeah, I think the, the surplus, uh, I mean, if we add 400,000 barrels per day today, we would have 1.2 million barrels per day of uh, extra oil in, in January. Uh, though the stock build is going to come, and OPEC would have to pause production. I don't think there is any choice. Uh, I don't think they need to cut production, uh, but uh, if the virus is a storm in the teapot, then they would just pause it for a month or two and balance the market. This system of checking it every month is very effective because they can stay on top of the market and they read it much better than any of the banks, which are forever bullish. Uh, and uh, they read it correctly and they've done a very good job so far. OK, uh, just your thoughts, sir, on, on prices. I think question of the day. Yeah, will, is... will oil be uh, 50 bucks or 90 bucks <laughs> looking, let's say, in the next three months? I think it's the 50 bucks is almost impossible. It is possible that if, uh, if the virus is not uh, serious and if there are some kind of a outage someplace or some kind of a, a major disaster on the Iran uh, nuclear negotiations, the prices can go up to $90. But to go down to $50, that would require a very severe uh, reaction uh, by the virus that it would be as bad as Delta and it comes in and people lock down, which I think is highly unlikely. But uh, uh, the downside is driven by virus, the upside is driven by political conflict.